I'm going to try not to cry. It might not happen. Uh, but first I'd like to start off with a toast. I know normally it goes at the end, but I think my speech will go a bit smoother if everyone has a little more to drink. Yes. So cheers to Levin Kelsey. So thank you to everyone for coming. I know that Kelsey and Love are both ecstatic that everyone was able to make it. We have guests from all over the country. And I know that uh, we're all just very happy that you could be here. I'm glad to be here as Lev's best man, because let me tell you, things were not always so smooth. As a younger sibling, you'd always hear things like, try to be more like your older brother. Don't do that, look up to your older brother. And naturally, I would do the exact opposite. So as many of us know that practice makes permanent, I became a natural and ended up getting scolded quite a bit. So I remember thinking to myself once, my goodness, he spends his free time coding a snake game on his laptop. Granted, it was pretty cool and he did help me break into my West Side laptop, so it has its benefits. We didn't really become friends though until BBYO, our high school youth group, when he was kind of forced to spend time with me outside of the house, despite driving me to and from school on his little bean. Now, this is where I got to see him really come out of his shell and start to become passionate with something in his life. And the dedication I saw him put towards those things was very astounding. He was in a pet band, uh, in a pet band that he started with many of his friends that they would compose their own music. Uh, he was held leadership positions in his youth group. He worked, he was learning to code, took AP classes at school, and ended up picking up Ultimate Frisbee as well. <laughs> Now, once it, time, once it came time for me to graduate, I was actually pretty excited to be going. It's okay, you got it, you got it. Be like your brother. Uh, so once it came time for me to graduate, I was pretty excited to be attending the same college as Lev. Despite my resilience to be like him, I had come to really look up to him. Aww. Uh, and it was in college where I first met Kelsey and got to see the start of their relationship. Even though I ended up leaving the campus and the country, they made it very easy for me to be a part of their relationship and very easy to kind of see their relationship grow. And I could immediately see that there was definitely some chemistry between Kelsey and Lev and especially in the way that she supports Lev. Now, as many of us know, Lev doesn't have the best jokes, but he does know a good pun, and I think we can all agree that he's not afraid to use a joke well past its expiration date. <laughs> now, Kelsey, you found a partner, and as I've watched the relationship grow, uh, I know that Lev has that same passion for you that I saw him have in all those activities in high school, all rolled into one. So if he could handle all that as an awkward teenager, I know he can handle it as an awkward adult. Nice. You may have to push him sometimes, but I mean, if you don't ever feel like you can just let me know and I'll pick his butt a little bit for you. So, we all know who's taller after all. And here's another toast, just because one wasn't enough. So, cheers to Kelsey and Lev. Cheers. cheers. And so, in Russian weddings, there's a tradition where instead of clinking the glasses for the couple to kiss, you start yelling Gorka. Gorka! 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 And so normally what that signifies is Gorka means bitter. And so they're supposed to take a drink of some type of adult beverage and then kiss to kind of take out the bitterness from the drink. So. The Jewish Bible Torah says, How can 
Яад, Зав, Иш, Эд, Авив, В, Эд, Имо, В, Давак, В, Ишто, В, Хаю, Левасар, Эхад. A man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife and they should become one flesh. Left. It's been a few years since you left the house to go to university and then found the job. And now you are getting married. So it uh, fulfills this statement. Kelsey, we really like you. <laughs> <laughs> and we uh, like to think the two of you will create a nice family because it takes two to create a family. <laughs> a few days ago I remembered the lullaby song which I wrote when you were born. You translated from Russian to English it sounds like when evening comes and lights the stars, people are going to sleep, to sleep. And you will sleep and will not cry. You'll be watching happy uh, fairy tale dreams. Kelsen Lev, we want all your dreams to become true. And Jewish tradition that on Friday night, Father bless kids with priestly blessing, which you heard today from Rabbi. And it was quite a few years since I blessed you with this blessing, but now I can bless both of you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord watch over you and be gracious to you. May the Lord favor you and grant you peace. I'm happy that you're getting married. Hi, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, I'm one of Kelsey's best friends. Um, we've known each other since preschool, and we've been best friends ever since. Um, I don't know whose idea it was for me to speak before Kylie. Um, of course, her speech is going to be phenomenal because she's been in college for like 10 years. Um, you know, Kylie, most people I know that go to school that long end up becoming doctors. Hey, Rana, you got any essential oils for that burn? <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank Kelsey. It is such an honor to stand beside you today and share this special day with you. And I also want to thank Keith and Rana for bringing Kelsey into this world for all of us and for making this day possible for Kelsey and Lev. Um, as I said before, Kelsey and me have known each other for a really long, 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 long time. Almost as long as it took for Lev to propose to Kelsey. <laughs> We laughed together, picked on Kylie together, <laughs> and cried together, especially when Keith gave Kelsey the keys to her first car. We ran outside, he handed her the keys, we ran outside in a bit of excitement only to find a Hot Wheels car in the driveway. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Keith. <laughs> I stuck through Kelsey, with Kelsey through her dream street days and her terrible taste in football teams. Whoa. Oh, I knew it was going to be a yes. <laughs> Um, it was hard for me when Kelsey moved away from Casper. Distance has always been the most challenging part of our friendship. However, I found a quote that is absolutely perfect. Missing someone isn't about how long it has been since you've seen them or the amount of time since you've talked. It's about that very moment when you're doing something and wishing they were right there with you. Okay, I'm not the sentimental type, so moving on. <laughs> Kelsey is awesome. What more is there to say, am I right? Woo! <laughs> She has the best smile and a contagious laugh. It is no wonder she caught Lev's attention. When I first heard about Lev, Kelsey was a Lincoln, right? Mm -hmm. Kelsey usually has to remind me of stuff, so, okay, good, <laughs> that right. One day she told me she met this boy. And I say boy because she told me he played Frisbee, so I assumed he was a child. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> about this boy. 
boy and how funny he was, how happy he made Kelsey, and how she thought she really liked him. And the whole time I would be telling, she, she would be telling me these things, and all I could think of was, oh Lord, please let this guy measure up to Keith's expectations. <laughs> you did a very good job of that. Thanks. Yes. As I mentioned before, distance was an obstacle for Kelsey and I. Finally, I flew into Kansas City and got to hang out with Love for the first time. He wasn't very funny, but Kelsey seemed to laugh, so I didn't say anything. I don't, I don't know where you guys are getting this. There was a moment when I was there when I knew Love was the one. Kelsey, Kylie, and I had gone to a Backstreet Boys concert, Woo! and Love was jealous. He was really jealous that we had went without him. When we got home, he put on one of the pink tank tops we bought at the concert and sang Backstreet Boys songs with us out loud, and he knew all the words. <laughs> that moment right there was when I knew Love was Kelsey's one and only. <laughs> Kelsey and Love, you are two wonderful people individually, but together you bring a special love and enjoyment that radiates to others. You truly bring out the best in one another. So I want to thank you, Kelsey, for being such a great friend. We've been there for each other through the hard times, the good times, graduations, birthdays, proposals, job offers, loss, and struggle. And I promise I will continue to roll my eyes with you at every one of Love's horrible puns. <laughs> and Kylie thinks that she's not the youngest in the family anymore, but we, me and you, Kelsey, will remind her that she still is. And most of all, I promise to be by your side for more great milestones and watching our friendship continue to grow and grow. I will leave you with a quote. As a married woman, I find to be very honest and true. Love isn't perfect, it isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It is a short word, easy to spell and difficult to define and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, every second of it was worth it because you did it together. So let's everybody toast for Kelsey and Lev Ginsburg. Hello. Kelsey once told me that every time a bride's sister speaks at a wedding, she cries. So I came prepared. <laughs> Kelsey Murray, you are the fabric of my life. I am blessed to have you as my sister. I wouldn't be me without you. At the very beginning, you were there to hold me, and some might say hog me. Am I right, Aunt Linda? Yes. <laughs> as little kids, you taught me to be my own person by refusing to let me have the same favorite things as you. Am I right, Sasha and Kelsey, who made me choose Howie Doro of the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> <laughs> and to be tough, by taking laundry basket trips down the stairs with me, rolling me across the room into the wall in our giant toy buckets, which admittedly is a lot more fun than it sounds. <laughs> you gave me an appreciation for music early on, whether it was listening to Big Band with Bubby in the basement, dancing around to the Beach Boys, or the several hundreds of CDs we came to co-own. Your loyalties were mine, and vice versa. When you got your driver's license with Daddy, you didn't drive home from the DMV because you promised me that you would let me be the first person you drove alone with as a legal driver. And it was that moment, with our heavy binder of alphabetized CDs that I became your first generation iPod Shuffle. <laughs> I will always cherish those drives to get a Jones, listen to some music, and talk. If the time was right, we would go to Sonic Rainbow to hear about crazy concerts and discover more music from Jude. Or, if it was late, we would visit our gas station Sage Harry for some not wedding speech appropriate life advice. <laughs> it is hard to believe that those drives were an entire decade ago. Ten years since I lived across the hall from you. Though we have usually been separated by at least one or two states in that time, together we have shared in each other's heartbreaks and triumphs, pain and joys. And through it all, 
our sisterhood has only become more precious to me. <laughs> we grew up surrounded by good role models for sisterhood, with our mommy and her grapevine of sisters, to our grandma and her yearly sister trips. Grandma used to give us sister frames and trinkets, or even little wooden animal silhouettes that had these little sister poems painted onto them. And all those years ago, I never realized how right our parents were when they told us that it was up to us what quality of relationship we would have with each other. They constantly reminded us that our relationship together would be the longest relationship we would ever have, outlasting them and longer than anyone we would marry. <laughs> That's right, Lev. I've got 19 years on you. <laughs> and that's right, everybody else. Only 19 years. <laughs> Kelsey has been slowly stitching Lev into our lives in some form or fashion for the past eight years. The first-ish year or so, Lev was just a name I would hear over the phone alongside others coming from Kelsey's Hillel stories. Then I started to hear that name more and more, and I could go on and tell you the whole long story of how they slowly tied their lives up together, but I am afraid that the DJ would start playing the exit music on me. <laughs> I know for certain that I am not the only person here tonight who is guilty of teasing Kelsey and Lev over the past two years for their long engagement. <laughs> not to mention the wait for the proposal I knew was coming a full seven months in advance. <laughs> we thought we had an eternity to wait for today. And now, here we are, with the two of you wed, and I really must say that I am grateful for all of that time because it has allowed for Lev to, and I to become family. Lev is the brother I never knew I wanted. <laughs> mega two. Yeah, hey, mega two. <laughs> he is always down to have a good time whether that means we are getting in trouble for playing soccer indoors a little too rowdy, or we are dancing down the aisles of the grocery store. Lev infuses fun into everything he can, but don't let that fool you. He also works hard, and you have to if you're going to fit into our family. Every time he goes for a relaxing jaunt to Lake Maloney, he is hoodwinked into some sort of manual labor. Hey, uh, nice job on the sod, by the way. Still looks real good. <laughs> Lev has always had my back. During grad school, when I struggled with some of my coding homework, see, Le Henry knows my struggles. I know. <laughs> Lev spent several hours on several different occasions with me, working on debugging and problem solving in a language he doesn't even write in. When we go out to eat, he gets his serious and protective big brother voice on as he emphasizes my needs to the wait staff. He always does his best to keep me safe. I mean, who else but Kelsey and Lev would go so far out of their way to make me feel safe and comfortable that all of you are forced to eat dairy free as well tonight. <laughs> I mean, come on. But it's going to be real good. It will. It's delicious. But most importantly to me, Lev makes my sister happy. His daily goal is to make my sister laugh at least once. But I've never seen him be disappointed by her groans or eye rolls either. <laughs> Kelsey's laugh is the most contagious sound that our family cherishes and Lev brings that out in her. He pushes her to go to places and on adventures I know for certain she would have never experienced without him. Do you think Kelsey is jumping out of an airplane without Lev setting it up? I don't think so. 
That was a lot of fun. <laughs> he calms her when she is worried, comforts her when she is sad, and celebrates her successes with joy and love. I am certain that Kelsey and Lev will be able to handle anything life throws at them with grace, humor, and love. But I also know that just as the rabbi said today up at the Bema, that they won't be facing life alone, just as they aren't alone today. There is no better way to celebrate such a blessed union than surrounded by friends and family. We are all here because we believe in you as a couple and we love you. <laughs> Here is to Kelsey and Lev and a lifetime of laughter, joy, love, and happiness. Yes, one speech for you. Quiet down over there. <laughs> Last night, I told you guys how much it was going to take me to do this speech. I got one drink. <laughs> so, through the years of Kylie and Kyle and Kelsey and Kylie growing up, we'd occasionally talk about marriage. I usually had three hard fast rules. Find someone to love as much as I love. Find someone to love as much as I love your mother. Find someone the whole family can get along with. Not an easy task. <laughs> Wait until he's at least 35. I think and it was 25. It was 25, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, he was almost 35 now. <laughs> for, for Kelsey, Mary Tall. Kelsey has fulfilled all those requirements, however, she gave me one more. She brought me home a friend. How many of you have been invited out for a donut and beer tasting? Well, I knew you. I knew I loved the donuts. There's been a multitude of self-help books written about relationships. So many books that they filled the Library of Congress. For you millennials, that would be a 16 terabyte hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am a member of a very large family, also a 16 terabyte. <laughs> My grandparents had 26 siblings. They gave me 52 grand aunts and uncles. I, ha I have a few grand nieces and nephews here tonight. I have 30 aunts and uncles, 51 first cousins. I came from a family of seven, married into a family of eight. The point of this is, I've seen a lot of relationships. They made them all work. They made their relationships without the books, and sometimes with the books. No two individuals alike, no two partnerships alike. They got to know each other, love each other on their own terms, sharing, losing, and winning together. Today, Kelsey and Lev made that same timeless commitment. <laughs> Here's to Kelsey and Kylie. <laughs> 